Rising up above the sea is a land of wonder, is a land of mystery. Mystery Island, who ha Mystery Island, who So much to discover, so much for us to see. God's truth never failing, all the way through history. Mystery Island, who ha Mystery Island, who There's a place you gotta see, a land of discovery. It's Mystery Island, Mystery Island. Searching for the ancient truth, handed down to me and you. Mystery Island, come on. Won't you come along with me? On a search to the island, for the clues hidden all around. Just waiting to be found Mystery Island, hoo-ha Mystery Island, hoo-ha Mystery Island, hoo-ha Mystery Island There's a place you gotta see A land of discovery It's Mystery Island Mystery Island Searching for the ancient truth Hand it down to me and you Mystery Island how it works a mystery island the path is narrow so stay on track but the treasure is yours if you follow the map god is faithful god is strong i can sing of his love all the day long god is powerful holy and true i'm ready for mystery how about There's you there's a place you gotta see a land of discovery it's mystery island it's mystery island mystery island we're searching for the ancient truth hand it down to me and you chosen to join us for Emory Church by Halia's virtual VBS. It is very different this year. Now, we would love to have had kids on our campus this year, but just due to the, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic going on, we just thought it was better that we didn't do that. But you know what? We're going to have a good time anyway. Uh, we are going to have Bible stories. There are going to be snacks and crafts as well. And so we are just uh, thankful that you have chosen to join us. And I'd like to just uh, personally invite you at some point to maybe visit with us there in Bahalia at 872 Watson Road. And uh, we'd love to see you there. We are having services at 930 and 11 o'clock. And we'd love for you to come and join us during that time. Until then, I hope you enjoy uh, Monday through Thursday. We're doing four days. Have a good, have a good day.
Hey, what, how do clams talk to each other? They use their cell phone. Did you know that the tallest sandcastle ever built was taller than a light pole? Now, go and get your piece of paper that says Monday on it and follow the instructions. And don't forget, God loves you and he cares about you. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, hello there. I didn't know that you were already here. I'm, I'm trying to teach myself how to juggle. And I'm hoping maybe that by the time we're almost through that I can, I can juggle some. But we're so glad that you've chosen to, to, to come. You, you fifth and sixth graders, we are excited that you're here. Today, we are actually going to be talking about something that, that has, I mean, it really interests me a whole lot, but I'm, and I'm hoping it'll interest you as well. A couple of questions first. What's the first thing uh, about uh, a tropical island that you think about when, when we say the word tropical island? You know, some, somebody might say sand. Some people might say a lot of sun. Some people might say suntan. Who, who, I don't know. Lobsters, maybe? How about this? What's the first thing you think about when you think about the word God? Maybe you think about some cosmic cop who's throwing massive lightning bolts at us because we have made him mad or something. Maybe you think, maybe you think that maybe God is, is hidden somewhere because he just doesn't want anything to do with human beings. You know, I don't know, but what we're going to talk about today and what you think about God as well, it really matters. One of the things I love to study is Greece. I love history and did you know that in ancient Greece, the people thought about God a lot? Now, it's a little different because they believed that there were thousands of gods. There were many, many, many gods. And they even worshipped those false gods. We, we would call those things idols. They would, they would make a statue to every one of their gods in an attempt to try to worship that very god. You know, and I bet at school at some point you've studied some mythology and you've learned about King Zeus, the king of the Greek gods, and his symbol was throwing lightning bolts when he got angry at people on the earth. He would throw them in the hopes of, of getting them to change their minds on things. Did you know that in ancient Greece, one man actually said it was easier to find an idol in Athens than it was to find a real human being. That's a lot of idols. But we, let's talk about the Apostle Paul for a minute. Uh, the Apostle Paul was a, was a Jewish man who came to believe in Jesus as the Messiah. And God called him to, to witness to uh, really people who weren't Jews about Jesus. And so Paul, one of, he traveled all over the Mediterranean. You could get a map out at some point and look at the Mediterranean area. And Paul went in many, many areas of, that, of the Mediterranean Sea. One of the places that he went was Athens. And so he was walking around the city one day and he was noticing all the many statues that had been put up as the Jews were trying to make sure that they didn't offend any of the gods. If they heard in, about a god that they hadn't even thought about, they would quickly build a statue and put it up in Athens in the marketplace. The marketplace in Athens was called the Agora. And it, it, that's a place where people would buy and sell stuff. There would be temples there where they would worship these gods. And then there was eventually a point that it all led up to a thing called the Areopagus. We, we would translate that Mars Hill. Mars Hill, the god of Mars, is what that was based on. And that's where men would gather to hear about uh, the things that were going on. The men would basically gossip there, and they would hear all these stories that were going on. Sometimes they would even have court there. But anyway, Paul goes there one day, and he begins to talk to them. One of the first things out of his mouth was this. He said to those Greeks, he said, you know what, guys? As I was walking around the city, what I really learned about you is that you are very, very religious people. Very religious. And, and that's admirable. 
Uh, and I think that that's a good thing for you. And then Paul said, but you know what I noticed? I noticed as I was walking along the, uh, the Agora, I noticed that you had a statue that had been put up to the unknown God. And so these Greeks were so concerned that they uh, had offended a God they didn't even know about. They put up a statue to him. So Paul, the Apostle Paul decided he would take that statue to the unknown God and talk about him to these Greeks. And he did that. And he preached the gospel to these Greek men and women who were there. And, you know, there were a lot of things that probably happened at that point, but I'm sure, I'm sure, and, and Scripture tells us this, Scripture tells us that the Apostle Paul, as, as he was preaching and he finished, the, the Scripture says that there were a lot of people there that listened to him and wanted to hear more. There were some who actually believed what Paul said. And there were others who ridiculed him, who made fun of him for what he said. You know, that, that is the same as it is today. Anytime that we want to talk about Jesus today to people, we a lot of times get the same reaction. And even at school, in your classrooms, you've probably been excited about something maybe that you heard at church, maybe you heard in a Sunday school class or a vacation Bible school, whatever it might be and you've tried to tell somebody about that, you may have gotten the same responses from people as well. People might have listened, some people may have believed it, and some people may be trying to make fun of you for saying what you believe. Let me just encourage you that it's a good thing. It's a good thing when we are talking about Jesus. That's just a good thing. We can't control what other people are gonna say or think about us, but when we're talking about Jesus Christ, that's a good thing. So, when Paul was finished, when, when Paul was finished, these people came to the conclusion that God was great. That he was great. And that he was the greatest of all. Now, now the Apostle Paul didn't believe in all these other Greek gods that, the, that mythology and Greek and Roman mythology uh, would talk about. There's just one God. The Jehovah of the Old Testament is the Jesus of the New Testament. It's the same God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. And so as you are walking around in, in your neighborhoods and you see things in your neighborhoods, what I hope that you do when you're thinking about God is that you remember this one great thought that God is great. He created the universe. He created men and women. So he created you as well. Now I hope you have a good day and I hope you've enjoyed our first day talking about God being great.